Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from Regional Indian Mathematical Olympiad from 2017. In this problem, we have p of x as x squared plus 1 over 2x plus b and q of x as x squared plus c times x plus d. We know x, b, c and d are all real values and we also know p of x times q of x is equal to q of p of x. We want to find real roots that we have for p of q of x. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. To solve this problem, we are going to take several steps. For the first step, we want to calculate p of x times q of x. We also need to find the expression that we have for q of p of x. Evaluating p of x times q of x is simple. On the other hand, for q of p of x, we are going to use p of x for each x that we have inside q of x. You can see the expression that we have here. Now we know p of x times q of x is equal to q of p of x. So we are going to put them equal. If we do this, first we need to simplify each expression because we need to find the coefficient that we have for each x to the power of 4, x to the power of 3, x to the power of 2, x, and then constant value. For the first expression, for example, we have p of x times q of x. The coefficient for x to the power of 4 is 1. The coefficient that we have for x cubed is c plus 1 over 2. The coefficient that we have for x squared is b plus c over 2 plus d and so on and so forth. On the other hand, when we calculate q of p of x, we can see that the coefficient that we have for x to the power of 4 is 1, for x to the power of 3 is 1, and then for example for x we have b plus c over 2. Now we are going to use the coefficient that we have inside p of x times q of x for q of p of x. For the first term, which is x to the power of 4, everything is easy. 1 is equal to 1. For x cubed, c plus 1 over 2 is equal to 1. So c is equal to 1 over 2. If we continue this approach and use other terms coefficient, we are going to end up with d is equal to 0 and b is equal to negative half. With that, we know p of x is equal to x to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2x minus half and q of x is equal to x squared plus 1 over 2 times x. Here, I would like to give another idea to simplify the expressions that we saw and find a, b, c, and d. Basically, you can get derivative of the expressions and put them equal. You can get the first derivative and also the second derivative and then you are going to simplify the expression and find a, b, and c, and finally d. It might be easier in some cases. Here, we didn't do it, but you can try. Now that we have p of x and q of x, we can calculate p of q of x. It's just simple. We need to use q of x inside each variable that we have for p of x. Obviously, we need to simplify it again. If you do so, then we will have x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus 3 over 4 x squared plus 1 over 4 x minus 1 over 2. Now 
we are supposed to find the roots of p of q of x. From here, we need to apply some tricks. First of all, the degree of this polynomial is 4. So, we cannot just simplify it and find the roots. We need to factor out some term. To do this, we are going to factor out x cubed from the first two terms. Then we will have x plus 1. And for the last three terms, we are going to factor out 3 over 4 for now. Then we are going to simplify it and factor out x plus 1. At the end, we have x plus 1 times x cubed plus 3 over 4x minus 1 over 2. So minus 1 is one root of this polynomial. We are going to find other roots that we might have. It's going to be inside x to the power of 3 plus 3 over 4x minus 1 over 2. To find roots for the polynomial that we have in the second term, we are going to add and subtract x to the power of 2 over 2 and then write 3 over 4x as x minus x over 4. If we do this, then you can see that we can factor out x minus 1 over 2 and write it as x minus 1 over 2 times x squared plus 1 over 2 times x plus 1. So here we have negative 1 plus 1 over 2 as two roots of the polynomial. The next step would be finding the roots that we have for the third expression here. You can see that this expression doesn't have any real roots. So at the end, negative 1 and 1 over 2 are the only two real roots that we have for p of q of x. And these are our final answers. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and maths involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.